What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skyma, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. And for the story of you, we'll look at the Power Rangers Lightning Collection action figure, Phantom Ranger. And this figure looks so cool. You can see him inside the window box with all the accessories that he comes with. And we get a good looking image of the character right there in the front side of the package. Power Rangers Lightning Collection right there in the bottom, including the name of the character. And right here, we get another image of the character. In the back side, an image of the figure. In this side, another image, and longer with the name of the Power Rangers series that he's from. And there's nothing in the bottom side or in the top side. So enough chatting. Let's take him out. And here's the figure out of his box. And take a good look at this guy. It's amazing. Look at the paints he has all around. And especially on the torso. The torso has some great design. I didn't even imagine that this figure will be this good. I really like it a lot. For this figure, we get two pairs of extra hands. Fist hands and holy hands to hold his weapon. And I think they've done a pretty good job with the holy hands. Look at the fingers. They have some great sculpting, especially on the fist hands. And each hand it has a little bit of metallic paint right there in the back. And these pairs, they look very good. And here's the weapon the figure comes with. And the design looks so familiar that I've seen it somewhere. But either way, it does have some unique detail in both sides where the silver color is. That looks pretty good. And we also get that symbol in both sides of this piece with some yellow. Well, not yellow, gold with some black color all around it. And we get a little bit of sculpting right there in the top and also right here in the bottom. And a little bit more detail right there in the tip. And more sculpting right there in the bottom where the handle is. And we get some nice gold color right there in the tip with some little bit of detailed sculpting all around there in the tip. Man, this gun looks so good. For this figure, we get an RNG effect blast for his weapon. I already seen this piece before in other figures I review already. But this one on the other hand is a little bit different. The only difference is that this part... They make it a little bit longer and they added more detail right there in the bottom. And also it's not pointy at all and more detail right there in the tip. And I really love to use this nice color on this effect. And he also comes with this strange effect that I have no idea what it is. But it looks very good because all around the spikes you can bend it just a little bit. And they added a little bit of white color all around it and a little bit light color blue in the middle with some nice detail in the middle with some good sculpting and also right there in the bond. Look at that. I think this is an ice effect or water effect. I still have no idea what it is, but it looks very good. And here's the Ranger again. And the head sculpt design is very great. And I see that we get a little bit metallic paints all around the head, like in the helmet, in the front side here, and also where the silver color. And we do get a little bit of good detail right there in the bottom where it's the chin. That looks pretty good. And we do get a little bit of red color right there in the top. And we also get some good sculpting right there in the top of his head. There's not a lot in the back side of his head. But still, we get some more detail right there where the ears are in both sides of the head. And not bad with it done right here on the head sculpt. Because everything is so great. Like I said earlier, and the torso has some great design. And it's also sculpted. And we do get a little bit detailed tubes right there you guys can see. And a little bit of red color in the middle with some holes all around it. And all around here it's all sculpted. But you can see it has some buckles around there. And I do love the silver color it has all around it. But on the back side has a little bit. 
but still we get a little bit of design detail right there in the back side of the figure like this circle and I believe it has a letter and more design right there in the back of his neck and we get more silver color right there in the back where is the belt and somehow that this figure has a little bit texture and more detail in the back let me see in the front yep more texture right there whereas the silver belt is and the build they done a pretty good job right there wait he has two belts i did not knew that but this one in the top has a little bit of detail with some sculpting all around it and you also get a little bit of black color around it and also here in the bottom but somehow i see they added some pockets i'm not sure these are pockets he has on his waist but I really love the silver color like I mentioned. And we do get a little bit of sculpting all around there. And I believe that the torso is not the only part it has texture. Also on the arms and also on the legs. But it has some good armor that he has on his arms in each one. And a little bit of muscle that he has with some detailed parts that he has here in the biceps, the wrists. And you see they has a little bit more metallic paints they has. And I really love the added these parts right there on the shoulders. But it sucks that you cannot move them somehow. Maybe they stuck very hard, but still it has some more metallic paints in each one. And these parts of the shoulder they came out very good. If you guys hear any noises around. It's my little parakeet that I have here. She's kind of annoying. But either way, on with the legs that you can see it has more design just like in the arms. And more metallic paint it has in each one. And around the straps, we get a little bit more texture on the legs in each one. With some buckles looking all good with more silver color. And look at the knee pads. They done a pretty good job right there and we get more buckles on his boots in each one and more texture around the ankle and the ankles also around the back of the ankles more design the top and the boots in each one but each one has a little bit sculpting in the middle and also we get a little bit wrinkles in the back side of his legs and we get more texture I then saw this part on his torso that you can see some detail right there and also around the torso around the silver color you can see has some more texture there it looks like he has cracks right there now let's get on with his articulation you can move his head side to side a complete rotation he can look down a lot he then looks up just straight he has a ball joint you can open his arms this much and I forgot to tell you that this part on the torso, you can move it. We get some rotation on the arms and each one with some bites and swivel. And we get some double jointed around the elbows, some wrist articulation, some baby as well. And you also have some torso articulation. You can bend it back and forth, swivel, and he has a ball joint right there. You can open his legs this much, kick a lot in the front. Rotation on the leg. He doesn't kick that, that much in the back. But we do get some double jointing around the knee. And some rotation on the leg. And some ankle articulation. Comparing size. But first let's see how tall this figure stands. He stands just exactly six and a half inches tall. Here he is with my Marvel Legends Spider-Man. And you can see he's taller than Spider-Man. And here he is with my Fortnite figure Sentinel. And you can see that he's taller than Sentinel. And here he is with my Master Chief figure. And you can see that Master Chief is taller than him. And here he is with my Theramore Salad Thanos. And there you have it guys. This figure is very cool. Because it has some great design all around the torso. And we do get a little bit of metallic paints around the head sculpt. And not bad with it done with his weapon. I think he done a pretty good job making this figure. And I really like it a lot. 
all right guys that's all for today so thank you for watching today's review i hope you enjoy it if you did leave a like if you want to share this video go ahead be my guest comment but remember do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words if you do that your comment will be removed from this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future and please follow my facebook page cm figures follow me on twitter and follow me on instagram and i got you guys on the next one so take care be safe keep on hunting and keep on collecting i'll see you next time this is cn sukaima and phantom ranger and we're out in line